Welcome to Petty Rick Tapes. This is our episode four. I have with me my dear friend Arnab Chakravarti. This is Andy, and we were just having a conversation how amazing slang words are as a literature. <laughs> they are. They are. Um, they are like a part of literature. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's very it's it's an it's it's depiction of emotion more than you know. Try, you're not trying to offend someone. It's just an, it's an emotional touch. Yeah. To it, see, something. while you while you abuse someone, it's not you're not trying to it's offend like, them. See, it's, uh, you can say it's a suffix. Ah. Uh-huh. So if you are feeling angry, to your angriness, it's a suffix. Exactly. Yeah. It, if it someone just, cuts you on the road, and uh-huh. you're like, "Oi, bad joke." That's that's <laughs> just a suffix that you're adding. Yeah, it's it's. I'm not trying to offend you, man. I'm just trying yeah, yeah. to express my anger. That's it. <laughs> Or you can like rather the far more respectful people that are there in the world. They're like, "Ullu ke pate." Ha, ullu. Tick. Ha, see. That's all. Ha. And if you get offended, you've got problems. Like, is that personal? You mean like, ha? I'm not. It all. It all distributes. accordingly with different kind of people and how they take it so i i don't i don't take matter well, what about you do you take if a person abuses you no i've never done that actually like taken personally no yeah so because i know they don't they don't mean nah, it doesn't isn't doesn't mean anything but i would i would i would say this that when i was introduced to them at that time they used to because you were this you had this childish brain that you know i used to care the matlab ho gayi Yeah, yeah. I've had fights with my friends regarding this too. Crazy <laughs> fights as well. It's it's like कि हमें पता है ना कि खराब चीज़ है सो खराब होते हैं। Used to beat the shit out of each other. And it was. छोटे मोहल्ले होते हैं ना? हाँ. Small fucking townships. वो पुराने घर जो वगैरह थे तो used to just build this with line by line. तो उसमें I had a few friends and we were just introduced to it and. वाइल्ड लाइन क्रिकेट भी उठा पूरी माँ की तो भाई वो बॉल फेंक के मारने आ रहा होगा सही अभी इफ राइट नाउ इफ यू प्ले क्रिकेट इन यू सी दैट लाइक हाँ आदमी आज के टॉप दे बैठा हाँ इट्स नॉट इट्स नॉट डेली बट सम पीपल डिपेंडिंग अपॉन देयर मूड एंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ स्टेट ऑफ माइंड दे आर सम पीपल � It's, it's just like I said. It's a suffix to your emotion. People But my know, main focus is on your emotion. You know, if you if you notice closely, when people are angry, they don't, they really don't abuse. People know, angry people don't abuse. It's like uh, what's the name of that stand up comedian? Anderson. No, 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 Indian. Ah. Uh, This guy talks about the porn and things. I don't know. Last one. Are we have seen it? That guy, काफी अच्छा नाम उसका। The context है ना, the context। और उसके curly hair है, चश्मा लगाता है। Oh, तलवार। तलवार? हाँ, इस इस है, इसका नाम बोलिए मैं। तलवार नाम नहीं है उसका। जो भी है। अभी आ। अभी मन्नी हूँ। अभी जब अभी जब कुमार नहीं हूँ। अभी जब कुमार। अभी जब कुमार नहीं हूँ। यार अभी जब कुमार नहीं। अभी मन्नी हूँ नाम नहीं उसका। अभी जब कुमार नहीं ह आदमी जब लड़ता है तो लाइक रिपीट करने लगता है हाँ तेरी माँ की जो तेरी माँ की जो दैट्स द थिंग दैट्स व्हाट आई डू सी वी सीन दर वीडियो ना इस टू इंडियन्स फाइटिंग इन अ फॉरेन लैंड विच यू फॉक यू फॉक यू विच फॉक यू ब्लॉडी इट्स द मोस्ट फॉकिंग फॉर यू दैट इज दैट इज फनी एक दिस � All the way to it, but it's a different model. It's another car. It's like, do you know who the fuck am I? This is who are you? Like, do you know who the fuck am I? So this goes on this conversation. It's like, who are you? It's like, Ronnie Pickering. It's the most funniest shit you'll <laughs> see. <laughs> so he just cuts him. He just cuts him on the road, and then the biker goes ahead, and then he stops, and then the biker comes around and he says, do you know who I am? He says, no, Ronnie Pickering. Who the fuck is that? Like, Ronnie Pickering. <laughs> I <laughs> said, "Do you remember that? Hey, what's your name?" Ah, <laughs> yes. And then he says, "Can I have those clothes, man?" I forgot. Oh, yeah. The second guy was Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Uh, Fuck you, Ezekiel. Fuck you, Ezekiel. 
then of course some people do take offense and they are right at that place because some people don't talk that once in a while it's fine oh, every so fucking sentence you're like fucking 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 <laughs> then you're ha ah, so it's uh, so yesterday a guy came up to me I, as is a good friend <laughs> a guy came up to me and said yaar tujhe bura nahi lagta na main itni gaali deta hu ha i said aapko to bura lagta na main itni gaali deta hu i remember that <laughs> But I was like, okay, so he's concerned that people might get offended. Uh, but I don't, but it's okay. Okay, it's good that he knows that people get offended. Oh yes, <laughs> acknowledgement होना चाहिए life में. That's a good realization and uh-huh. also good acknowledgement on his part. Yeah, I mean, don't take offense. Ha, huh, don't take offense, man. It's okay. Understand the emotion. Ha, huh. might be with love. Huh. It's like in the gentleman. Huh. Black hand. Did he just call me a black hand? You are you're black, and you are. A it's a fact. <laughs> it's like if I call him a pikey cut. If it comes from a place of love, why not? <laughs> he is spiky and he is a cunt. <laughs> British humor, dude. It's, it's classic. Nice classic. My favorite comedian that died last year, <clears throat> Sean. Amazing guy. He has a TV show came out back in two thousand four, fifteen stories high. So the guy who plays Wong in uh, Doctor Strange uh-huh. was with him. In it. His so, name is Benedict something. Benedict. Wong. Benedict Wong. So Benedict Wong is a was a part of was one of the two. So they these two characters, Sean and Benedict Wong, mm. they are roommates. Oh, are amazing. Fifteen t-shirt. stories high. Amazing show. Only two series. Perfect. Nice, very nice. But ben, ben, Benedict Wong is a very nice actor. actor. Amazing actor, I think. And it's a nice movie as well. You need to watch it. Doctor Strange. Ah, uh, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. But my problem, like I said the other day, my problem with Marvel now is to follow the yeah, too much, too much, too much, man. The too movies as well. It's 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 actually, I think, confusing. So, Jane, though, it's insane that they want people to watch all of it. I understand. You go, pay some money, go, whatever. But yeah. I I I used to to watch it casually Din karo, Captain America ra, dekh ro, ke, koi connection nahi aana, jab se, bhai, must chal raha hai 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 madness 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 Loki 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 pata nahi hai, kini, par, madness mein Loki ka dal diya, mein ko Loki dekhna ke liye, main nahi dekh raha, bhai. Madness I would I I would would prefer being the movie being spoiled to me before I watch it pata hai, chale ga, mujhe, koi dikkat nahi hai. <laughs> <laughs> Itna content they, they, they release a list of I think 63 TV shows in back in 2019. I don't know what you are doing, bro. Not just so both movies and TV shows. Ah, exactly. Like what happened before Avengers Endgame was they used to release four films a year. Yeah. People, you know, there were gaps of two or one month usually. It used to be between the two quarters. It was the first half and the second half. Between that, in six months there were two movies. One in March. Usually in April, another one I think March or April, another one in May. This is and the next one will be in September, and the final one will, will be in December. They used to release only four films. Now between those four films that they are still releasing, they are also releasing bunch of TV shows. See, that's what you. Pehle you left people wanting more. Uh-huh. We that is not the case. They are constantly watching your sorry consuming your content, and. See again, casting is not a problem. You got great casters. So Oscar Isaac oh, could yeah. have, hey, and then uh, what the Tom Hiddleston. See, he's a nice, nice actor. Chris Evans. So cause hey, 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 you you got a oh, great Chris cast. Evans, no, he's died. Right. He's done now, but he's dead. <laughs> but I I hope they're they're trying to make a series out of the Grey Man, the oh. trailer that came that day. Oh. So it's based on a novel, and it's going to. Uh, Put up like a mon, uh, kind of a, let's just say a beginning of a series of spy. Oh, spy! A spy genre. So, or? Yeah, spy genre. So uh, Ryan Gosling actually is a spy. Ah, so he's the that, great. That I, uh, the he's the great man. This. Ah. And then the story continues. So the, in the first part, he is the villain, Chris Evans. Chris Evans is the villain. Yes. Chris Evans is given the 
this assignment to get to to Grey kill Grey man yeah because he has apparently something fuck the trailer for mission impossible was so oh that is nice that is that a well cut well edited trailer like it's i don't know why it's it was just the just from real the build up of music ha ah, exactly that's the classic right. theme of mission impossible it's so good towards the end and then he takes that bike off the fucking cliff and then the cut is just wind. it's just ha ah, it's just wind and there's nothing as i would suggest whoever is listening to us today uh, if you haven't watched the trailer yet go ahead and watch it and do watch it with your earphones on because the ah, sound is you, amazing exactly like that. and so it's not so uh, i don't know if if you heard the not him the uh, listeners <laughs> if you heard the tune if you know the tune for mi mm. the the signature tune for mi like in uh, when you listen to it in the in this part mm-hmm. it sounds different it sounds good good different like i say it sounds very nostalgic in a sense it's a bahut 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 maza aata hai usme Is and then when you find out that they copied the tune in main una to thoda thoda sa off lagta hai wale kya kar rahe hain kyun kar rahe hain i watched the trailer for grey man as well grey man is also good yeah grey man is a good it has grand gosling chris evans this week there were really good trailers thor yeah, love yeah. and thunder christian bale christian bale yeah. playing gore amazing amazing and then uh, you should see the look of natalie portman she is the uh, uh-huh. she is the female thor now aha uh-huh. yeah, yeah 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 to the fucking biceps she has worked out nice i just hope as a sarman can the scene and god <laughs> played by taika waititi oh acha ha yes so in, in the beginning of the trailer is like uh, kids <laughs> i will tell you about uh, i will tell you a story a tale of asgardian legend that is thor and then thor finally grabs the hammer and it's about it's like reaching near his hand and then it just diverts and then it's introduced yeah, natalie portman nice this is beautiful as fuck like uh, someone is asking who is she she says that's my ex girlfriend <laughs> uh, another trailer that came this week was uh, george miller Three uh-huh. thousand years of longing. No, oh, that is the Idris Elba. Idris Elba. Even the biography about David Bowie is on Moon Age Dream. Moon Age Dream. Nice, nice trip. That is also very well done. By Brett Morgan. You should see the video of Brett Morgan in Cannes. He's dancing throughout the red carpet. <laughs> Arey, amazing, amazing. Oh, well, that's a very good film. It's going to be very amazing. Oh, so it's, it's, it's not a documentary, nor is it a biography. It's just. But they have used only those uh, like old footages. Old footages. They yeah. haven't shot new. Like yep. it's not like Bohemian Rhapsody. It's, oh yeah. It's it's a it's ah exactly it's a blend of fiction and biography. Yes. Bi- bi- I don't think so. We'll find out when another trailer comes. This was just a teaser. But we'll find out if they actually. interviewed a bunch of people it's just all of his footages that were never shown before they like they did a documentary on uh, beatles mm-hmm. so they found 52 hours of footages that were never released and this is during when they were making a comeback after 4 years only so that's when uh, that particular gig that they did at the rooftop mm-hmm. you know, the famous gig yeah, yeah, yeah. so that happened uh, at that time so they have like 20 days to finish an album or something so it's just all in the studio it's 52 hours four episodes apparently i think it's on hbo i hope so now on hbo an amazing documentary also exists two episode two part uh, this george carl uh ha american dream yeah yeah it's so you should see the trailer for that it's mind blowing one of the best comedian lenny bruce George Carlin, Bill Burr. Mm-hmm. Bill Burr is also in the documentary. So is Bill bunch Burr. of other more people actually. And it's a quite good uh, trailer. And what, what other things came this week? Ah, uh, uh, I think Love, Death, and Robots is out. Ah, वो तो हाँ, Love, Death, and Robots. I think Robert last two last week क्या गया था वो तो. Yup, yup. This week actually this came Stranger Things part. Three का trailer हाँ. 
trailer nahi but series ke part 1 aaye the season 4 part 1 came out uh, so the trailer was amazing they did a there's another movie uh, of idris alba movie beast. or series beast 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 where there's a lion behind him no i don't remember actually i did not watch the trailer mm. i just saw it and i had to work some it's just vidra selva looking like this right? i think so i ah, think so he's beast. looking looking so behind. what happens with the ha ah, it's beast it's beast, beast, beast of the film is that he is recently his wife has died mm. so him and two of his daughters in the film they go to i think a century or something or that kind of a place and there one of the rangers with them all four of them mm. they get trapped when a lion attacks them oh. and then bunch of all these pirates come in and it's a lot of it's in complete desert in the forest and it's like a bit desert and shit exactly. survival film ah exactly in the end of the trailer he punches the fucking lion he does all like no anything <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say that. Yeah, I saw his episode of Complex. He recently did. So Complex is a mm, and what exactly is it? Is it a magazine or something? But they own own a bunch of things. So one of the thing, one of the shows that is on Complex on YouTube is a uh, sneaker shopping. Okay. So there are a lot of celebrities, musicians, mm-hmm. amazing people that come. Uh, last uh, last episode before this, before it was Elba's episode, it was David Beckham. Oh, I've seen David Beckham. I've seen a bunch of more amazing rappers on it as well. That guy, uh, the one who reviews uh, gadgets, hmm. Marquis, forgot his name. Hmm. Marquis guy, uh, this this guy who reviews all these new gadgets, phones, laptops. He was also there. A bunch of other people came. So, in the introduction to him, is like. actor director musician mm. like what there are so many fucking things that he has done there is an amazing series of him playing a dj a couple of years back when we were in college he, i think 20 he, he was a dj na i think he is he is a dj but he actually plays a character as well oh. in one of the series i think it was for netflix i don't remember the name there's a uh, it's quite good there's a there's a good uh, in one of the stand up specials of trevor noah there's a bit of uh, him depicting him him describing how a bond movie will be like mm. if idris elba becomes the bond like he has all of it mm. but since he is of african american descent mm. <laughs> so like as a so bond movies are usually uh, yeah, he's not african american he's british acha ha sorry he's british he's so proper british so um uh, The, the number of white people in the country where bond movies are made mm. is more mm. so it will be very easy to find him <laughs> you know white crowd so he, so he depicts wo aisa batata hai robot batata hai us bot logical explanation ah logical explanation like so for example he's running and he, he just blends in the crowd and the bad guys are like where is he there he is <laughs> he can't blend in he can't <laughs> Um, we'll know in a year or so. Oh, yeah, we'll know, obviously, we'll know. And who will direct it? Sam Mendes yeah. is done. <laughs> Sam Mendes was done right after uh, Spectre. Spectre. Skyfall Spectre. Then f- the last one was Fukunaga. Gary Joseph Fukunaga. Yeah. Gary Joseph. Gary Joseph Fukunaga. Fukunaga. Fukunaga has done an amazing film with Idris Elba. It's in it's set in Africa. It's about all these. Uh, Yeah, what do we call them? Naxalites and things like oh. that. So, big film. I forgot the name. Is fucking amazing film. Very brutal. Saw so back in I think twenty sixteen, twenty sixteen or seventeen. Fucking brutal. Angelina Jolie has directed a film that was set I think in Thailand or Indonesia. It's called First They Killed My Father. Again, um, <clears throat> set in on the backdrop of all these chaotic, uh, chaotic things happening, like ISIS taking mm-hmm. over a city, uh, taking over a country, for example, Syria, almost. So all these insurgent groups, mainly. So it's a story about a girl 
who was separated from her family and then first they kill her father so that's how it's made i think it's based on a true story based on a book called first they kill my father another good thing that came this week was uh, not this week rather last week was kendrick lamar's album yep mr lamar's hmm Mr. Nine good, good, good tracks actually. I heard, I think two or three of them. The fucking Sound. video for oh, Hot One Fire. N ninety five or something. And who? Porcupine Trees frontman Steve actually shared the uh, that video, the clip mm-hmm. of him just standing like this, Kendrick Lamar. Amazing video. And they are coming up with the album at twenty four June. Nice. Sixty five minutes long. An hour and five minutes. Even uh, I think uh, a new Kamal Sir movie is out. I mean, is about to be Vikram. released. Vikram, no, he's an assassin. He's, yeah. he's what? I think he's the gangster. Gangster, hey, ki it's like the Liam is in Taken types. Kind of, I think. But so this was this is an old movie of his called Vikram. Hmm. This is like kind of you can say a follow up okay. or uh, the next chapter or something. But the best part is that there are two more amazing actors in it. One is Vijay Sethupathi. Which is Sethupathi. The other one, I forgot the name, but he is an amazing actor who was also in Pushpa. Who is going to play now the larger role in part two? He plays the cop, okay. Paul Red Cop. Ah, is he a good actor? Are he was there. In his amazing. His another good film that came this year was called Joji. Joji, yes. He's very Even good. Even Beast is out. Beast, what is it? Beast was all right. I just skimmed it. I didn't see it properly, but it's. I mean, uh, the director of the film, he made a film called Doctor. Mm-hmm. Doctor, Doctor, Doctor is a nice. very entertaining film. Like very offbeat, very entertaining black comedy. Mm-hmm. But Beast was I don't know what the fuck it was like any other Salman Khan film, but only done better. But they've done very good VFX with this time. So at the end of the film, he flies these fighter jets, mm-hmm. <coughs> and so what happens is he goes to Pakistan. Uh-huh. In, the, in that airspace, then he comes back towards India, and India also tries to help mm-hmm. him, and they send in fighter jets and they sh- shoot missiles at mm-hmm. each other. So the VFX specifically of those two missiles colliding, colliding and then bursting, uh-huh. and very slowly uh-huh. and everything coming out. Nicely done. It's not like as if the regular fucking things that they yeah, try so to do yeah, so green in green movies green. in India. <laughs> uh, fuck all VFX. कुछ भी करते हैं भाई. Hey, you can see the same problem in RRR as well. In I RRR, know. in the first, in the first opening of the film, when they show the fire, mm-hmm. the chapter called the mm-hmm. fire, mm-hmm. they introduce this guy. I think it's the fire or it's the water. Uh, I think it's the water. They first introduce introduce um, Ram Charan's character that is Rama. Mm. And then they introduce Bhim. Bhim. So when they introduce Bhim, so he is in the jungle outside mm. Delhi, mm. somewhere. He is hunting a wolf, mm. a wolf or something. But instead, a wolf actually comes. Instead, a, a tiger actually attacks him. Okay. So it's all CG. Yeah, you can just see it. हाँ हाँ आई सीन इट आई सीन इट वो टाइगर को अरे नहीं नहीं भाई वो इट्स वेरी वेरी लिखता है फेक है आई मीन आई नो इट इज फेक लेकिन मेक इट लुक रियल ना एटलीस्ट इवन आफ्टर इन्वेस्टिंग फाइव हंड्रेड करोड ऑफ बॉक्स देस देस सो आई येस्टरडे आई वाज वाचिंग दिस अ सीन फ्रॉम आर 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 जहाँ पे आज बेटर <laughs> Then this movie, <laughs> if you watch it like by ye 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 same karta na, bahut mm-hmm. acha lagta ho. Mm-hmm. Aisa. But that's not Ajay Devgan shooting. That's the kid. I think yeah, it's a kid. Ramchandran's character. Yeah, 
the younger one. Yeah. I think he's a child. And what other things that came this week were our film. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> my dress we released it finally. Shot it last November. Yep. No, no, up to October. October, November, mm-hmm. September. October, October. I remember exactly. October, November. Yeah, it September. Ah, October, May. October, 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 November, and November exactly. But we never released it. We sent it in a competition, a fuck all competition. Fifty hours. I mean, these motherfuckers. What they are not able to realize right now is the fact that it's not even about limiting creativity, but in turn you are limiting creativity, which is completely draining the person who's trying to make a film. It's not a pro. It's not like you're making food or something that you can make in couple of hours, prepare it and finish it off. I and mean, then even when you're preparing food, some someone or yourself, you're still concentrating. Yeah, okay. Everything should be balanced and everything. And still, at that time, while preparing food, you can balance things. But in fifty hours to make a film and balance things, I mean, look at the fucking action scenes that we did. It's so fuck, so fuck all scenes. I know. My mom is saying, "Who is my action director?" I tell her, "Mommy, listen. Fifty hours of picture made. Don't think more about it. It's just f- fucked up. Fucked up. I did." So I have had two experiences like this. I've never had fifty hour experience, which I did last year. Mm. And but before that, I've done twenty four hours. This was in twenty seventeen when mm. I think we were just in college. No idea how films are made and things. We have seen films, mm. but never tried it actually. Put something on screen. And this is right before. So we had finished shooting Demented Grey. Mm. We were in the process of editing it. And this competition came, and our friend even he said, "Let's do, let's do this." And then we shot that twenty-four hours again. Very fucking tiring experience. We shoot all night. The topic comes at eight in the evening, and then we shoot the night, and the next uh, day in the evening at eight again, twenty-four hours. We're supposed to fucking submit it. Worst experience of my life, but at that time I didn't think of it as as such because we were just starting out, so we were like, fine, whatever is there on the screen is fine. Mm-hmm. We're just learning, so we'll keep on try. We'll try to progress on a bunch of things. But over the years, then next year, uh, you remember you we used to do that frames dictated. Yeah, yeah. In so for that, we shot another film. Mm. Me, him, and the Narpal. In eleven hours, mm. completely with editing and everything. Mm. That actually kind of opened my eyes that this is the worst fucking way to work. It it it's so you know uh, in these competitions, winning is not the thing. See, I I can. It's not that I am not winning. That's why I am saying I have won. Okay, we also did a twenty four hours uh film film making challenge by IFP, and we we got the I think. Yeah, we won the first position in that. I think amateur filmmaking, non-mobile. Chat. So amateur me, yeah, mobile me. What else? Yeah, so amateur me. Our at mobile nida, one day sir. But yeah, one. But so it's not about winning. Okay, win. Can be as a good, as a good. So what are you? Okay, okay. So we, I got a strap by IFP camera strap. ठीक है सो वैसा ऐसा जीतने वाली बात ही नहीं बट वॉट वॉट हैपन्स इज सो द पीपल हु हैव अ क्रू ऑलरेडी ठीक है हु हैव हाफ ऑफ द थिंग्स सॉर्टेड देखो किसी का भी कोई भी क्रू में है ना एक्टर कभी सॉर्टेड नहीं होगा वो पता है ठीक है सो यू कैन ट्राई टू अरेंज देम इन दी एट आवर्स सो दे गिव यू आई थिंक एट आवर्स टू कम अप विद स्टोरी ऐसा कुछ है अच्छा so uh, at oh, yeah, they, they they ha. give you a dissection of how to ah, exactly so i think they give you six or eight hours to come up with a story and write it completely mura sa mm. so 
सो इन दैट डेटाज इफ यू इफ फॉर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू हैव अ फुल फ्लेजेड क्रू जिसमें यू वोट अ डायरेक्टर यू वोट अ सिनेमाटोग्राफर यू वोट अ प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ सम काइंड ठीक है ये तीन लोग भी हो जाते हैं ना तो तुम्हारे तीन चीज शॉर्ट हो जाती है बिकॉज द प्रोड्यूसर विल लुक फॉर एक्टर्स ठीक है और तुम्हारे डी ओ पी और डायरेक्टर बैठ के आइडियेशन करेंगे जो भी करेंगे नॉट सिंग प्रोड्यूसर खान प्रोड्यूसर भी करता है लेकिन ही कैन स्पेंड हिज टाइम और हर टाइम समवेयर एल्स टू फाइंड एक्टर्स प्रॉब्लम ठीक है जो भी कॉन्टैक्ट है फोन लगा सो सो वो काम बढ़ जाता है नॉ वेन यू डोंट है ग्रुप एक आदमी आके बोलता है भाई ये करता है ठीक है कुछ शॉर्टेड नहीं है वो बोलेगा मैं डिलेक्ट कर लूंगा वही बोलेगा मैं शूट कर लूंगा ठीक है अभी वेन यू आर मोटिवेटेड टू डू दैट अदर पीपल आर नॉट सो वॉट हैपन्स इज यू डोंट कम अप विद आइडिया एफिशियंटली सो यू मिस डेड लाइन्स एंड देन यू शूट ऐसा जो भी मन करता जैसा करता था इट्स प्लान अगेन so what what i feel does is they are not encouraging amateur film making category baat karo professional ki baat hi nahi karo they are not encouraging ki aise bahut acche frames ho bahut achhi lighting ho they are not expecting that out of amateur people because they know that they, they don't have those means although if you have participated more than five times or something or if you have more films on your uh, youtube channel which you will be sending the link from Uh, you can't participate in the amateur category. You have to participate in the professional one. So, ऐसा भी कुछ नहीं है उसमें. Okay. So, तो क्या होता है ना कि यहाँ पे एक ही बंदा motivated है. And so the ideation process is slow. Mm-hmm. And then you come up the the themes. I have to give one point to IFP. वो लोग theme देते हैं. They make people think it is a good thing. ठीक है इट इज अ गुड थिंग लेकिन वेन इट कम्स टू कम्पलीशन इट्स नॉट अप टू द मार्क एंड देन सम स्टोरीज विच सो वॉट फिल्म मेकर्स डू इज वेन दे आर सेटिंग आइडियल दे गॉट सम स्टोरी इन दर माइंड एज रैंडमली सो वॉट हैपन विथ दिस नाइन ड्रेस यू हैड द स्टोरी इन योर माइंड ऑलरेडी यू आर राइटिंग इट इट सीम टू फिट विद द थीम दे सेंट एंड इट गॉट मेड वेरी यू नो हाउ सो तो सो ये चीज भी होती है एंड इट किल्स द स्टोरी समटाइम एंड देन वेन यू थिंक ऑफ मेकिंग इट अगेन बाद में सोचा चल ना ये स्टोरी अच्छा है इसको बाद में करेंगे वो कभी होता नहीं है बिकॉज देन यू हैव अ प्री कंस्यूम नोशन ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर स्टोरी इन योर माइंड देन यू डोंट फील लाइक डूइंग इट अगेन सो ये सब बोला ना अटक है सो इट इज क्रिएट किलिंग क्रिएटिविटी इज अ डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट दिस इज अनदर एस्पेक्ट of you know not having teams or as such mm. i'm not even saying having dedicated people mm. it's just motivated people <laughs> driven people who want to do it no I mean, i'm fine with the idea of let's okay, let's just for one say 50 hours let's make a film i'm fine with it people come up with a lot of bands for example my favorite band, one of my favorite bands is the band, uh, black keys they come, they've come up with songs they finished a song uh, in 15 minutes 10 minutes I'm not. I'm not comparing the two or something. But okay, fine. People do finish things. There are the films that have been shot in seventeen days. There have been films that have been shot only eight days, nine days, eleven days. Red Rock at twenty-four days. Yeah, that's a rather. Let's just say that's a feature film. I'm talking about rather even more feature films that have been subdued and you know uh, gone to just been being shot in seven or eight days or ten days mm-hmm. even as such. But the fact is. the difference between all of these things is again but what major point that we lose at is you know collecting so many things at the same time bringing them together it's not hard you can shoot a film in 50 hours of course but again not everything and everyone works at the same wavelength that's that's a issue and i'm fine with the fact that they are running a competition they're giving you know opportunities to people to actually make films to get a chance Which is another one of the conversations that we had the other day regarding camera. Mm-hmm. We were having the same uh, thing popped up, and one of the best part about our generation is the fact that anyone today can go out and make a film on any on any device. Yeah. Be it a phone, be it an iPad or something, or if you have a camera, even better, you don't actually have to go and buy a you know first hand uh-huh. cinema camera. You don't have to directly jump to that. There are many means right now. It's Any fun. means, anyone can actually. If you don't have that much of money, you can make a fucking film on your phone. Be it any phone. Mm-hmm. There are lenses that you can attach. Extension, extended yeah, lenses. Yeah, adapters, can... lenses, everything is available. You just, you just need. Yeah. See, we have recorded a rough on it. 
and you will find a more detailed discussion on this thing <laughs> on that rough it's about content creation and how availability of devices so easily has fucked it up but yeah you were saying so my point uh, going back to the fact is again the problem is not regarding who is more creative who is less creative rather the strain that it puts hmm strain in 50 hours the strain in 24 hours you can make a film in a week it might turn out to be good if you have the right kind of people if you trust their message that yeah Correct. it's going to be achievable hmm. but again communication under 50 hours communication under 24 hours it's it just doesn't go into a straight line it divides up and no one understands what is going on okay we're supposed to do this we're supposed to do that you miss out on things sometimes of course it comes when it comes to a professional category in amateur category professional people are you know they are well more versed with the uh, thing that the grammar is, the language of not the grammar or, or the, I'm not talking about that rather they are fixated on the uh, part that I know my job yeah correct correct I know my job I, I understand the story what the writer is coming up I know what the director is trying to tell me I know what uh, this actor is going to do so each and every one all of them they know somewhere Knowing a grammar is another thing. anyone can fucking read. Again, like I said, in the generation that we are living today, there is so much of information out there. And you can see a bunch of videos and you can say, yeah, oh, fucking hell. I am one of those, you know, you can say, uh, educated person regarding film. Or you can watch a bunch of films and you can say that. But the fact is, how, what, what diction you're talking, that's a very important aspect. And how much are you able to apply it if you want to be in the same field? That's the issue is all about communication, the strain that it comes over again. Because no one wants to actually fucking shoot a fuck for if you're shooting something for a studio, be it a TV show, be it an ad or something. There's a long process of a bunch of things that happen. There's a very filmmaking as such or make, making something, putting putting something on screen is a big huge process. It's step by step that you develop. There's a story, uh, what is it about and everything you break down. Then you research about the subject, you write a script, then you doctor the script, then there are a bunch of, uh, you could say, drafts of the script that come up. After that, you start finding a producer, you start finding the right production company, you start finding, uh, finding for the right studio that is going to distribute your film. Then the actors, then cinematographers, sound, light, and everything that comes about. It's a huge process of it. And then chunking it up, and you know, it's like picking, you take two of your hands, you join them and you're trying to fucking take water out of pond and you're trying to drink it some of it is of course going to fall so then you're not going to drink the complete water mm. there are gaps between your fingers that the water is going to go through that's the fucking same thing with 50 years you are if you are an, at an amateur level or something where uh, and again it's all about your fucking luck as well what kind of people you have what kind of people are actually there to help you up some some I'm not saying everyone, like I said, not everyone works in the same wavelength. So the communication point, not everyone is going to be able to understand the story or some, not able, everyone is going to comprehend the fact, the actual core of the story. Okay, this is how we're going to do it. This is how we're, how we're going to put up on the screen and everything. So continue with the festival. We don't have a fucking problem. It's your fucking business, of course. We've made it out of a fucking business now. But it's literally as if you know you're running sweatshops in China. Fifty hours. What? The, why the fuck? I don't understand. Why do people actually take part? It's, it's not adding anything to your fucking uh, life. And even if you go and say to someone like David Lynch, never did something like that. He hasn't directed a film for so many years. There's nothing I, that has come out of this. I think. I think creativity takes time. Not much time. Nee, nee. So, takes time. again, I think uh, when you say that Black Keys came up with a song in 15 minutes, then there are films being shot in 11 days, yeah. 7 days, 21 days, 24 days. But it all, the, all of this comes down to one point under what circumstances. So, Black Keys, all the people, they have been working with the team, the band members, a lot of time. Se. Yeah. So they know how each person works. They have a f- set tone and tune. Mm. So they can come up with a song in 15 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. If there's a person who is shooting like 
वॉट इज दॅट जे ॲक्च्युली नॉट मूवी इज दॉट इन इलेवन डेज द गिल्टी टॉट इन इलेवन डेज द डिरेक्टर वॉज इन द वॅन उसको कोविड हो गया था वॉज इन द वॅन अँड ही वॉज डिरेक्टिंग थ्रू द वॅन दे वॉज अ वॉल वॅन अंदर आहे और स्टुडिओ वॉल के दुसरे साईड आहे वॅस डिरेक्ट करणार था उसको अँड इट वर्क बिकॉज दे न्यू हाऊ एव्हरीबडी वर्क्स अगेन युअर पॉईंट एव्हरीबडी वर्क्स इज अ डिफरंट वेव लेंथ दॅट वेव लेंथ नीड्स टू बी एक्नॉलेज्ड अँड यु नो एज अ एक्नॉलेज के साथ ॲस पता होना चाहिए ना नॉलेज तो हो अंडरस्टँड द लिमिटेशन एक्झॅक्टली तो वो नाव फिर अँड मेज मेजॉरिटी ऑफ आय थिंक ग्रुप्स आर वर्किंग विथ न्यू पीपल न्यू पीपल ॲज ए नॉट इन द इंडस्ट्री बट न्यू टू दॅम ॲसा सो यू नेवर नो वॉट गोज विथ हूम तो
which is which is actually good like see i know there are categories theek hai mai bhi samajhta hu lekin if there if there is a if there is a general category samajh lo theek hai usme jo wo wo inclusion aata hai na to wo mujhe acha hai lekin tum log yaar social issue hai to kya to kya the Well, it's just uh, <clears throat> it's a story of every fucking place. But again, coming back to the point that I was making, that there was a film, a short film that won an Oscar this year. Actually, it was an animated film, Ben Shield by Guru. I watched that film. That's a short film that is going to inspire someone. I love these fuck all films, thousand <laughs> entries that come up. Which fifty years, dude? We do we actually have any idea for past five years that we have been in Pune making films, trying our hand at something, making these short films? Do we have any fucking name that we know that is actually made out of these festivals, all these fifty hours, twenty four hours of film? Do you know any name? Neither do I. Have. Because these films, like I said, they don't amount to anything. They're just going to end up on your timeline. That's it. And what's the point? No, no one knows. You take Vinci by the way. You remember that film that we saw, Suit On? Oh, yeah. Fucking amazing film. Suit On, man. Like such a good story. I mean, of course, it's going to be a different kind of a review with a bunch of people. But I think that film is like so such a smart film. Very smart film. Like it's no dialogues. Who's so name? Ah, not even music, man. <laughs> it's like you know, I saw that film. It was like I remember watching uh, Steven Soderbergh's that film with Daniel Craig. I forgot what it was. They steal something. You remember? Shining mm, Tatum Beauty. Who was that movie? Yeah. I'm gonna fucking hit you. I sh- showed you that film. No, no, are you? I don't remember. What's the movie? Are you not even aware of it? There is a film of Channing Tatum and uh, this guy Adam Driver, Daniel Craig, and uh, so I think they try to steal money under a racing event where he doesn't have a hand. It was, I think, before Unseen or something. Logan Lucky. And Logan Lucky, yes, Logan Lucky. Logan Lucky. So when I saw Sultan, I was like, this guy was def. One of one of the inspiration might have been Steven Soderbergh. I said, like, oh, such a good film. Take the film French Dispatch. Ah. <laughs> These films amount to something. Take the film Mission Impossible that is coming. Before. Take the fucking film after thirty to thirty five years later. Top Gun. Top Gun Maverick. These films actually matter. And down the line, somewhere in like ten twenty years, one of these short films are going to resurface, and people are just going to call it a fucking classic. And I okay, like, like Sean Locke in one of the episodes of Eight. Out of ten cats, this countdown. He uh, brings out and he says, "Do you have a mascot or something?" It's like too many people have been given as a national treasure. Mm-hmm. The fact, so I'm going to distribute. And he, the first first picture that he picks up is of Ed Sheeran, and Jimmy Kimmel says, "Of course, he has to be in there." He's like, "No, his hair is actually black, but he colors it. He's not ginger, so no." And he stamps it now. No, and then no, 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 towards no. the end, he takes up the picture of Queen and says, "Oh, she's the definition of it." He's like, "No, she doesn't pay her taxes." <laughs> and he stamps it now. The petty reasons to not yeah. do. So not yes. everything is a classic, as well. See, I. This is again the decision is not based on one person, so which is a good thing. Not one person mm. decides what is a classic, what isn't, which is a very amazing thing. Some movies that I might find fucked up and really bad and shit, other people might actually love it. Some of them are actually obsessed with bunch of films. Mm. Like a lot of people got obsessed with Dumba. Of course, a very good mm. film. It's, it is a very good horror Indian horror film. Actually, 
and very well shot indeed very well shot very well actually written mm-hmm. now that guy actually worked so many years and then made a film written by Ryan and Barbe the director of the mm-hmm. film who wrote it as well was working for years and years trying to get that film made and i think agar wo usi time ban jata na 2002 or 2000 i think it was 7 or something and yes, he was 18 हाँ सो आई थिंक उस टाइम बनता ना तो ऐसा नहीं लगता सो सो इट वुड हैव बीन अ बिट डिफरेंट ऑफ कोर्स इट वुड हैव बीन बट नाउ व्हेन यू वॉच इट आई एम लाइक ओह दिस इज नाइस गेटिंग ऑल द सी द डायरेक्ट द एक्टर लीड एक्टर सोम सोम शाह सोम शाह सोम शाह व्हाट अ प्रोड्यूसर व्हाट अ डेडिकेटेड एक्टर वेरी नाइस लाइक ही प्रोड्यूस्ड इट इन वन ऑफ द इंटरव्यू लाइक बिहाइंड द सीन्स ही वुड एक्चुअली स्टैंड एंड वेट फॉर द राइट अमाउंट काइंड ऑफ लाइट नेचुरल लाइट Hmm. Like okay, the clouds are coming in right now. He would actually take the fucking binoculars and look at it. That's what the dedication is all about. So all these things amount to and you call it a classic. Fine, it is a classic. But if you come up and like your route, that's a fifty-year, uh, you know, filmmaking challenge, make film banana. Then I think it's a classic. Gatta. No classic. No thought there. You definitely <laughs> long. You definitely, you know, pushed yourself and then limited yourself on one of the aspects of the film. Definitely has to be. Has to be. कहीं ना कहीं पे beat writing, shooting, directing, कहीं ना कहीं पे मार खाया है. Music में सब मार खाते. This is my, you know, my inspiration have never been, you know, one of those filmmakers who feel like अच्छा आज सुबह उठ के उठे आज क्या पहला खाया लिया है. It's like you are making a song of you and I say, चार बोतल वोट का काम मेरा रोज का. In one of the interviews, he says, "Ah, I'm not doing anything. I'm just making a song. 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 I'm just making Florida project Florida project that rocket Willem Dafoe mm. for that uh, like that's another inspiration to take uh, Robert Eggers ah uh, the witch the lighthouse the northman three classic films for ages to come back to back back to back that is well. uh, okay back, back to back, back classic films he started in theater oh yeah in other And the which is very low budget mm-hmm. film. Then you take the lighthouse. Lighthouse. Completely shot in black and white. Such a beautiful film. And two of the most amazing actors. The the aspect ratio for uh, the lighthouse was obviously purposefully kept that way, but the psychology behind that was to show the how these two characters were stuck with themselves. Oh yeah. The the you know the cramped feeling. Yeah. The chaotic kind of feeling. Yeah, exactly. That is why they shot this four by three aspect ratio. It was essentially shot in I think uh, full, I think full sensor full frame, not full frame like wider. Mm-hmm. And then it was in post done that way. But and these are the filmmakers that inspire you. Wes Anderson look at the Wes filmography oh, man. look at the filmography he has created a name for himself of having one of the most distinct you know film process and film making aspect these are the things that you supposed to study you know films that are made in 50 years for you so what kind of inspiration are you trying to build up nothing it's all about for a show it's as if ifa and all those fuck, fuck all awards that happen mm mm-hmm. Yeah, It's just a fuck all festival. Weird as shit. Weird as shit. <laughs> Now people are coming over twelve hours or something. No, no. I, I people are coming over three days. Like you register today. Yeah. Re- registration ends on this particular day. उसके बाद तीन दिन में तुमको picture बनानी है देने. So it's it's nothing. You're just adding one day to the fifty hour challenge. So okay. the YouTubers <laughs> make amazing films rather than people. Actually, you know, some YouTubers. So, you know, when when you watch a movie, even if it's not shot well, you, it all comes down to the conceptualization of yeah. it. And there are so many good conceptualized movies on YouTube. 
यू वोट इवन फाइंड इट लाइक ऐसा फिफ्टी आर में नहीं बनता वो <laughs> वो नहीं बनता फिफ्टी आर में different aspects that he's trying to address very nice with being sense you take film makers like Quentin Tarantino or the Andre Narito hmm these people didn't go to fucking film festival and shit the reservoir dogs was just made on a little budget no one you can can you believe pulp fiction went to cars and won a golden globe i think it was his what second 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 feature na uh, after the world dogs the amount of the amount of work actually goes into the filmmaking like everyone wants to do it but people don't understand it it takes years sometimes it just takes months sometimes it just takes years to build something beautiful you know i don't believe that it takes months so i i believe ki if there's an idea which you had theek hai so the time of the film starts from the time you have the idea hmm. although the man of pre production se lekar production se lekar sab kuch it took only 6 no, months 5 uh, months building a story Okay, only building a story. Huh? Only right from the point you had the, uh, you actually came up with the idea to the point you have a final script. Huh? So final script. Not only about shooting and everything. That's an entire. So that's a two part. That yeah, huh? and then the second part has three parts of it: pre production, post production, and post production. That's a different time that all it all takes. Well, that's what I'm saying. So it never, it's 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 always it filmmaking has been and will be a time taking process, and you can't just. Crump, crump, crumple it in fifty hours or twelve hours or three days or two days. It never works that way. I mean, see, it has been working for them because it gets them. I think viewership, it gets them people, it gets them contacts, and it's a great platform for creators in order to meet other people. I get that. Sub hai us man, but on what cost? And and I think people don't even care about winning. Hmm. People don't even care about winning these things. It's who knows, man? Who knows what people actually give a fuck about? Because you meet, and the generation that is changing now, it's just like it's there's a chunk. There are there are a bunch of chunks of people who are interested in certain kind of filmmaking, who are interested in just there for show. Oh yeah, feels amazing to be called an actor, an actor, a producer. director but this is why everything has turned to it's a good of course of it's been a business it was it used to be a studio system which broke and now people can shoot and go anywhere and shoot the fucking film it used to be only studio system that you can only shoot films with studios there's nothing beyond that but 1969 change everything one of the aspects of once upon a time in hollywood There used to be a studio system, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and but you can make films only with studios, and you were uh, you can make films on your own as well. But to actually uh, give the point is that they would produce it, they would write it, they would distribute it. You were like there were no different channels. You were like a employee to the studio, so you would so you get salaries and stuff. You were like the, you still do that. The problem is you were in the same pool mm. today. You make a film with one production company, you will find another distributor who has yeah, it's, more footing in the market. It has become more like freelancing, like, like but freelancing again. It's it but even you choose, you get to choose your. You have now. now diverted channels now to put your film out there. It's like you, like I said, there's a production company that you made a film with who have who put the money in. Uh, you brought some money in as well, not a bunch of actors as well. 
which is what amazing thing is a lot of talent agencies and of course there are downsides to that mm-hmm. as well so that but as of for all things discuss but you can now hire actors from there there are unions mm-hmm. of you know, cinematographers writers you know, technicians and everything but there are so you don't have you're not stuck with one single studio who's going to uh, give you you know direction regarding okay now we are going to distribute your film this way we're going to market your film this way no you can go to another company who has better footing in the entire market knows what people is people are loving understands your film what are the aspects key aspects that we can actually pick up and generate a very you know huge buzz mm-hmm. around it and then properly distribute the film and which is which is an amazing thing for you know a filmmaker who is who has a very amazing idea who's made an amazing film not films like thakur oh chaar hazar chaar sab easy hai against a budget of 100 crores but you know so i'm i'm you know it's difficult for me to understand ki this is india log kuch bhi dekh rahe hain dhakad kyun nahi dekh rahe mujhe ye samajh nahi aaya but this is one question i had they were able to market it in such way such a way I see marketing is see i get it it was i think trailer raha uske baad uh, there was nothing there was mm-hmm. not much but still it's you know kamna and all she 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 has become an idol to people uh, when it comes to i think some feminism idea <laughs> as a matter of because she is she's outspoken she 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 says what she feels and which is good but some sometimes i think she as a steps over so i think kya hai this is this is not even a point man <laughs> why why are you even saying that <laughs> but theek hai so she has become some idol and i think I know people who are like I'm not around there. ठीक है, so अभी वो लोग तो देखे ना यार, तो कितने लोग होंगे ना सिर्फ तीन करोड़ मुझे आज़ाद नहीं हो रहा है. There are a bunch of reasons, of course. One could be the marketing, another could be word of mouth. Yeah, the film is shit. It's the same fucking story. It's just a bunch of money that has been invested into creating a spectacle of action. I think Again, it's an insight. Inspired, inspired by bunch of films. Bunch of Hollywood Every films. Every Hollywood f- action film which you'll find it's is there. The colors. <laughs> the colors again. The action again. The fucking. I don't know why she's screaming so much. Haan, yeah, it's, it's almost like. I don't know, yar. It's not effort, to yar. Nee lagta hai. Mera lagta hai effort, lekin is then. Is a lot movies dekhi hai. Action usme nee karta hai sab. I think they were talking a lot regarding. How we are going to make the film instead of actually applying it. Huh. Well, I think we have met in last seven months. We have met <laughs> such people who only talk, yeah. who know how to talk. That's it. Oh yeah, we can do this. We can do that. They are concentrating more on the spectacle of it rather than the story or oh, anything. Yes. Oh yes. That is why if you watch how it is shot or how the colors are in the film, you will be like, "Chalo, acha hai," but story kuch nahi hai. And I don't it's, know, man. it's like they were. It was more unoriginal. Like, very unoriginal. More of as thought they thought. Let's make it eye, like eye catching. Eye catching, bus. But uh, let's not give it. It did not catch way. eyes. <laughs> sure, did not catch eyes. It was just they only added a prefix of actions, but there was no story to add it to actually make it a whole something. Look, women assassins. Watch Anna. Anna, you watch. You watch I can this. Give you bunch of fucking films. Uh, you Atomic watch, Blonde. You watch uh, some of the Korean films. Ah, Korean films has good female assassins, man. You watch those films. Mind boggling shit. Red, what was it again? I forgot. Red Sparrow, Red Sparrow. Red Sparrow. Red Sparrow. Red Sparrow. Red Sparrow. Red Sparrow. The the way. <clears throat> The way they contemplate the entire process of making such a film, they just you know they're going they're putting up barriers even more to make women-centric films. 
how many good actual you know action films that there are for you know there are women centric hmm. i think naam jawan was also good naam shawan was all right again Com- comparing not, comparing not good story it was it was just in so not too much of exposition of character just which is why i think they cancelled the rest of the development of the series So. they just they just concentrated on the action part of it then as i was some some for naam chawan mein to there is story as well but it's not a strong story to actually give you you know a uh, kind of what you call it the beginning of a spy ah uh-huh. correct you watch bond hmm there, there there's a there's a development in the story not only development but there are spices mm-hmm. you know tweak you in the middle of the film so if you watch Uh, this guy is Casino Royale, first Bond film of Daniel Craig. He is not James Double O Seven James Bond. Double O Seven is a is a tag which you get. Sorry, is a position which you get after a certain amount of kills and stuff. So Double O Seven tag was not his kills. He gets the tag at the end of the film. That is why he said, "My name is Bond, James Bond." That is the signature line. Mm. That is the signature line which he gets, which he says. For the first time in the film, that is in the end. Yeah. Okay, that is something to notice. Oh, I say, चलो people won't notice. Even I didn't notice. I think, but फिर मैंने कहीं पढ़ा होगा कि ये साल है उसने पूरी फिल्म बोली नहीं था. So and उसने भी उसका character development, how he was, how he is, and then in Skyfall, how like M का और उसका attachment, उसने उसको फिर he was not physically fit and still he was mm. you know given a pass. so so that way so वो सब चीजें हैं अभी I know that एक फिल्म में वो सब फिट करना प्रॉब्लम है ठीक है तो एक फिल्म में मत करो ना फिट कौन बोल रहा है तुमको तुमको पैसा कमाना है तो ऐसे बनो ना राइट बिफोर द रिलीज ऑफ डार्क एंड देव दे हैड अनाउंस दैट दे वुड मेक डार्क एंड टू आई डोंट थिंक दे विल बी मेकिंग इट रूट ऑफ द पीपल फॉर द कंपनीज दैट दे चूज टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट सच अ दे गिविंग यू अस अ इट्स अ यूज स्पेक्टिकल वॉच इट And then the distributor is Z Studios. <laughs> At least give it to the fucking Bhagwan or something like that. It's not just them who they were fucked. Uh, YRF is also fucking for last two films of Ranveer Singh. Ah, oh, okay. Eighty three. Eighty three. No promotions. No promotion. Nothing. Such a low promo promotion. Even Jaish Bhai Jordan. Jaish Bhai Jordan is well. a lifetime collection of twenty crores against a budget of seventy. इवन भूल बाद में आई तो भी ज़्यादा कमा गई भूल बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ द सॉन्ग्स एंड ऑफ़ कोर्स द नेम नेम सॉन्ग्स एंड आई थिंक स्टार पावर ऑफ़ एंड दैट दैट इज़ वन थिंग एंड आई थिंक वो जो सो इफ यू वॉच द ट्रेलर यू विल फाइंड ओनली कॉमेडी एंड नो हॉर ठीक है विच आई फेल्ट कि यार इन लोगों ने तो पूरा हॉरर एलिमेंट ही हटा दिया बिकॉज इफ यू वॉच पुराना बुलबुल का वो तो यू यू विल फील द क्रिप्स ठीक है लेकिन इसमें उन्होंने सारा कॉमेडी 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 बनाया वेरी बैलेंस फिल्म एक्चुअली बट देन वन यू वॉच द फिल्म बुलबुल आई हैव एंड लेकिन माई सिस्टर हैज एंड शी वॉज टू भाई ये इट हैज जम्स के अलावा ओके सो दैट इज वाई इट इज ओनली आई थिंक वर्ड ऑफ माउथ भी है Be it anything, be it a business of even a such cafe or something. Like that. Of course, it was a cool. That joint is amazing. That fucking TV show is amazing. That book is amazing. That is, listen to this band. Mm-hmm. You know, so word of mouth is always strong. But of course, it all comes back to what you're putting up, or you what you're putting out as such. And if it actually has something, has some kind of. You I know, think. Speaking of word of mouth, it should change. Every time, for example, this podcast. Are there are people, our friends, who mm. will share it? We will share it. 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 Do you know Joe Rogan? No, <laughs> you just know him through through his comedy career, his podcast, and other things. ठीक है, his UFC comment बहुत मजा आता है. But ठीक है, so you come and tell me, भाई Joe Rogan का podcast बहुत अच्छा है. That kind of word of mouth. Oh yeah. 
that that's how it should change yes and itna change hona chahiye ki uh, i'm telling my father ki ye dekho waisa waisa type ka change hona chahiye then it is said that you are making good content and for chal for everyone nahi ho sakta lekin good content ho sakta hai yeah there's a lot of message you find your right audience you know vulgarity so yeah there's this with this one notion hmm. that vulgarity hai to to nahi dekhne ka hai in india mein to bahut scene hai now i think odt has opened a lot of oh yeah a uh, lot of avenues regarding vulgarity theek hai be it comedy or serious lekin if there's good content na and it has vulgarity people don't really you know see the vulgarity you watch sacred games usme kitna vulgarity be it abuse there's a soul to it ha exactly but people don't talk about the vulgarity in them wo kiske bare mein baat kar raha hai his dialogues the story aisa bunch of things but if you if you then compare uh, कोई गंदी बात ये सब दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन वर्गैरिटी और एंड इट इज इट्स क्रक्स इज वर्गैरिटी इट्स ग्रेट इट सम हाउ इट ऑल जस्ट फनल डाउन नाउ एज अ प्लेस इन अ कंट्री लाइक इंडिया आई यूज्ड टू फाइंड ओनली यू नो मैगजीन्स एंड ऑल दिस स्मॉल पेनी पेनी काइंड ऑफ Penny press and ah, small ah, booklets and things that used to come out. Correct. People would go and read those, read all those erotic novels. In in Hindi, there are mm-hmm. some amazing writers as well in other languages. Mastram, well. I think, yeah, Mastram is one of them. I don't remember. I don't have most of them. Mastram is one of them. So in every language, there is very uh, there are very good writers and authors written amazing erotic novels. Most people read them, but now. When it comes to visually attaining that, of course, there's no scene of porn in India still. But to have erotica on screen presented like this, and then you know, it being now a part of our society, people are Acceptance. fine with it. Acceptance. Huh. You know, it's, it's just it's, it's a good thing that at least you know there are people who can okay, give give. Of course, the censor board is again that's another conversation. Hmm. Yeah. Comes to us. Censor board. The reason why OTT is famous, actually, yeah. they have. Which is why it's work. Ha. The only so, reason. Because you don't need to actually take a certificate before releasing a film or something like that. And Which is a very amazing thing. It's so good. Ha. <laughs> tell them, please, sir, watch it and give us a certificate. And then they're gonna cut this scene, cut that scene. The work is done. <laughs> मैं उसको भेज दूंगा रैन देते हैं another acceptance that you have everything in your hands right now and you are uh, devoid of nothing there is an abundance of content every kind of content and people have accepted it so if a person knows something which he shouldn't know for example children should not know about porn it's not going to happen they will they, they will aisa koi one way or the other ha If if you say that तुम्हारी उम्र के लिए नहीं नहीं बोल सकते तुम नहीं बोल सकते you are right उम्र के लिए नहीं है लेकिन उसको पता है ऐसा that kind of thing weird shit weird times I was just thinking today that when so I had uh, I think when I was in my fifth standard I had a computer at my home, and as I made it, according to my dad, he's like, "Tomorrow, just say, 'I'm open it, so you have a computer.' So, 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 so,
वेन दैट वॉज ऑल्सो लिमिटेड कैसा है ना कंप्यूटर है मतलब जरूरी नहीं कि इंटरनेट भी है इंटरनेट था लेकिन मेरे डैड के भी ऑफिस में चल रहा है वहाँ पे बंद होगा तो मेरे यहाँ पे चलेगा ऐसा सीन सो आई टू कॉल इम अप पापा बंद करो ना देन आई वॉज मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ कार्टून एटो डॉट कॉम जाके गेम खेल रहा हूँ और कुछ नहीं कर रहा हूँ ठीक है तो बट इफ माई डैड सेट कि नहीं अभी नहीं करूँगा या फिर आई एम इफ आई एम वॉचिंग समथिंग या कुछ भी कर रहा हूँ इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी सेज नहीं यार ना अभी बंद करो या मेरी मॉम बोलती ऐसा कुछ मैं कर देता था ठीक है वहाँ पे भी रेगुलेशन था सो मैं ऐसा नहीं बोलूँगा कि मेरे पास इन्फॉर्मेशन नहीं था मेरे पास इन्फॉर्मेशन था लेकिन इट वॉज एट द मर्सी ऑफ देम ठीक है एट सम पॉइंट तो वहाँ पे मेरे लिए रेगुलेशन था तो दैट इज वाई इफ आई डिड नॉट नो अबाउट पॉन एट अ पर्टिकुलर एज इट वॉज बिकॉज आई हैड सम रेगुलेशन अभी वो रेगुलेशन नहीं है अभी तुम्हारे घर में लोग चार है छह डिवाइस है ठीक है तुम्हारा टीवी भी स्मार्ट है माइक्रोवेविंग <laughs> 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 what you are actually teaching your children what what are you letting go of things and you know and trying to grab other things and then you thinking that i'm trying to build a confidence in the kid down the line 10 years from now he is going to get punched to some outside some fucking store and then there's not not going to be one inch of one uh, this one fucking percent of confidence that's going to be left in that fucking kid he will be stepped upon yeah. stepped on sorry he will be stepped on there is no other consequence to whatever you are doing yeah. i was i was watching something the other day and other day and the guy said that when we were kids our school said schools the people in the teachers i think they used to say uh, that if i'm not doing something and they ask me why am i doing this uh, i had no reason right karna hi padega karna hi padega if you if they ask you a question about ki maan lo jada masti kar rahe ho aur tumko bolte hain ki करोगे अगली बार हाँ या ना मैं ना बोलूंगा तो घर स्कूल से निकाल देगा भाई वो अगर निकाल देगा मेरे को अगर मैंने हाँ बोल दिया हाँ मैं करूंगा तो निकाल देगा वो राइट नाउ देर इज सो मच सेंसिटिविटी अराउंड दिस इशूज इट्स इट्स अमेजिंग हाउ यू नो प्रोटेक्टिंग योर चाइल्ड मतलब सेंसिटिविटी मतलब हाउ सेंसिटिव ही बिकम्स ही कंट्रोल इट ठीक है If you if you don't let them go through some experiences, some some hard experiences, just like he saying no, what simple? Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. my dad always said no to me. Yeah. Papa, bhar dena hai. Main nahi ja raha. Tere ko jana ja. Ye bolte the mujhe. Us time bura lagta tha. Lekin ab samjha tha ki theek hai. Acceptance. We used to play outside a lot. Aise cricket khel rahe ho, khel rahe ho. Har nahi yaad hoga. So we know how to accept defeat. Ki pata hai. That's Thik what hai? my next point was going to be. Is that people are so afraid that their children are going to fail. And they're not letting them. I was like, please, well, how can you? And there's so much of competitiveness. Well, why can't you? Because I can't. <laughs> there was there was there was this stand-up comedian. I think you don't remember his name. He was like, he went to a football game, kids' football game, and he said, Bilber. Oh, who's? I think Bilber. Yes, yes, Bilber. Like, who's winning? I said, No, we don't keep score. <laughs> He said, "Why the fuck are you keeping score? I want to bet on that shit." <laughs> exactly. What kind of a loser to call you? <laughs> exactly. I'm so bets running here yeah. and there. <laughs> so, so this actually happens, you know. This ah, used to happen in seventies and eighties. People used to keep bets on the fucking games, <laughs> on kids' games. See, I'm you not saying what activity. I'm not saying betting on that. Score the rakho. Batao to say ki where you are lagging. Oh yeah. ठीक है. hard hitting criticism should happen in your life it's and it and even in colleges this is not happening man this is pyar se baat aur are kyun kare pyar se baat exactly if this is the practice ground do you realize that tum log bolte ho industry experience mein tumko bolega to chalega ne mere pe chilla le chalega are nahi tu meri baat sun na college mein jab do you realize college mein things are not that serious the shit is not on stick कॉलेज में अगर वो तेरे पे चिल्लाएगा ना कोई भी यार इफ यू फ्यू फक अप एंड समबडी टेल्स यू समथिंग 
and there you learn to control it it becomes easier for you to in the in the industry ye baat logo ko samajh nahi aati logo ko aisa hai ki i should be treated properly you are being treated properly yeah. so that is how you should be treated if you fuck up do you realize that <laughs> then this is going to be a good discussion but rather if the other person is like oh nice that's it and then this person that i met he or she means to another person is like oh that guy is a filmmaker but am i actually doing the work that's the point of me like there are so many people that we meet that they say oh, this and that but my first the first fucking thing that strikes my mind is the fact that are you actually doing the work that it takes to do that so about being ready wait wait let me uh, just not even no, no, no. So there are a bunch of parts to the no, 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 being ready what, what i'm saying is we were actually doing the work ha huh, so that's what i'm coming at so if you uh, how do i how do i say this way so uh, for example 
So people who are doing what they want to do, they never tell that they are doing this. What happens is if you are making films, okay, you don't find it important to tell people that you are making films, okay. But if you are not and you want people to believe that you are making films, you go and say, oh, "I am a filmmaker." You won't say anything until asked, okay. That's what. So for example, uh, for example, you are a stranger to me. We meet for the first time. Mm-hmm. I ask your name. You say it's Andy, and uh, the conversation isn't happening that much. But then you come up and say, "I am a filmmaker." I say, "Okay." Obviously, my reaction is take care. Mm-hmm. Now, just imagine if you are a filmmaker, okay. Unless I ask you, ki bhai, what do you do for a living? Mm-hmm. Then you say, I am a filmmaker, okay. The people who are bluffing, okay, वो पहले यही करते हैं. You can you can see this in a game which we play. वो there's a There's a there's a if if what I said doesn't make sense, I'll give you a better example. There's a there's a game called Monopoly Deal. Mm. Uh, it's a it's a good game actually, and it doesn't like it. But <laughs> both both must both अच्छा game है. It's a game, really great card game. For call game. ठीक <laughs> है. <laughs> <laughs> We have our opinions. It's okay. Now so there's a there's a card called Deal Breaker. So what happens is, uh, you can. take the other person's cards if you have a deal breaker card that is the basic crux of that card so if i put the card mm-hmm. you can, can take, take his card you can take my set of cards okay right and i can say anything no. until i have i have the other card called just say no ah uh, yes, yes, yes right so deal breaker mein kya hota hai hmm. for example i have a deal breaker and uh, the other person knows that i have a deal breaker mm-hmm. and he knows that i'm going to come for his set of cards mm-hmm. so as soon as i pull the card out of my deck mm-hmm. the other the other guy mm-hmm. he pulls one card which in he pulls out one card and he starts flicking the card saying that he just say no hai mm-hmm. i instantly know that is bluffing mm-hmm. because jiske paas just say no hoga na wo batayega nahi mere paas just say no hai mm-hmm. ठीक है आई एम टॉकिंग दैट काइंड जो फिल्म मेकर होगा ना वो जाके बताएगा नहीं लोगों को मैं फिल्म मेकर हूँ या जो भी जो भी जो भी होगा वो जाके ऐसे ही वुड एडवर्टाइज इट हिज वर्क विल शो दैट्स व्हाट आई मीन एंड अबाउट दैट वाज अनदर पॉइंट व्हाट आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट हाँ अबाउट वर्किंग आउट लाइक यू नो बींग रेडी सो दिस पर्सनली पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस यूर सो वॉट हैपन दिस I am I am a cinematography aspirant. ठीक है. So I watched many tutorials on how to shoot shit. Mm. Over time, बहुत सारे. ठीक है. And I I won't say I have a lot of knowledge. Mm. I have some knowledge. लेकिन now the internship I am doing, उसमें जब they give me those situations, I realize it is a tough job and why mm-hmm. did they why the dop is a head of department now i realize mm-hmm. and jab wo mujh wo they, so for example they told me the other day that he interview set up is clear set for online so it's okay the frame correct i have watched videos on how to do an interview theek hai yeah theek hai karna kya na tab samajh aaya ki mujhe kuch pata hi nahi main khali video dekha tha samajh mein aaya tha लेकिन जब करने गया ना तो ऐसा लगा कि यार ये कैसे करूं हाउ डू आई सेट दिस टाइटल सो दैट द द सब्जेक्ट इज वेल लिट द वे आई वांट इट द रेफरेंस आई हैव देन आई रियलाइज कि आई डोंट नो एनीथिंग तब मुझे समझ आया कि यार देयर इज अ लॉट टू लर्न ठीक है खाली बोलने से देखने से कुछ नहीं होता इट्स अ प्रैक्टिस बेस्ड स्किल यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस यू हैव टू बी ऑन फील्ड अदरवाइज You have to constantly, you know, educate yourself in that manner. And education doesn't only mean reading; mm-hmm. it means practicing yeah. more than reading. In our field, to be very honest, for example, if you're if you want to be a writer director, you have to write. Mm-hmm. You have to take that hard hitting criticism, which yeah. we always talk about. Okay, if someone says it's shit, it may be shit. because opinions man because yeah, and yeah. the other another thing with this line of work is opinions mm. it is a very subjective field okay yes. what works for you doesn't for me khatam 
it is an opinion it doesn't matter i see you can read watch but what you're doing in the internship is now you're creating your own process exactly so exactly. you're learning from other person's process now you're creating your own process that's why we realize as such when we go to make something on our own that's when we realize okay i don't know things i know i need to create something of my own that's called creating something of something original correct then coming uh, back to the point that you just said some people don't say mm. who actually you know that's one of the aspects but there are motherfuckers that have met mm. who who are like who don't say still don't do, do the work so it's like the ratio of them existing on the both sides of the horizon is the same And regarding that fucking deal breaker that day when we met them, I had that fucking card. I wish I know what the fuck that fucking thing meant. <laughs> Could have won. But not if I had to just say that shit. So, <laughs> uh, it's been ninety minutes of ninety minutes of content. Sure. Then uh, we'll take leave. Yup. Uh, my co-host has been Anup Chakravarti. This is Andy. Thank you for listening to us. This is episode four of Petty Red Tapes. Petty Red Tapes. Every new episode we release. Every new episode, almost every Friday, almost every every fucking Friday we release an episode now. So you can check that. And uh, pretty soon we are going to come up with a new segment called uh, Petty Red Rough Tapes, which are recorded actually anywhere wherever we uh, find a topic, and it's usually outside. So there's a little bit of more ambient ambience and disturbance. If you can call it whatever you want to address it, so we're going to start uploading that pretty soon. Uh, so tune in, have fun, and ta-da, bye bye. Yep, bye.